It's your boy, Mr. Right Choice with Conspiracy and Realty Group. And this year, I wanna educate you a little bit more. So, let's start it off. Now, if you're thinking about purchasing a home, it pays to start thinking about your credit score and how it impacts you on purchasing a home and your buying power. Now, if you're buying a home, mortgage lenders want to know that you're not gonna default on your home loan. Now, if you don't have good credit and you're trying to get a home, mortgage lenders look at you as a risky buyer and won't pre-approve you. Now, if you get approved, whatever your credit score is determines your interest rate and also determines what is your buying capacity. Now, as a realtor, I'm not doing my job if I don't educate you a little bit on credit and picking the right realtor and the, and the lender. You know, that's the first step to anything is talking to a lender or talking to a realtor which the realtor will refer you to a good lender that I like utilizing. We have a good relationship because having a good relationship determines how we're going to get you to the closing table. Now, lenders look at a FICO score. Your FICO score is determined in three different credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experion. Now, the lender looks at the middle score out of them three that would determine your interest rate, what you're approved for, your down payment, or if you need work, if you need to work on your credit score to get approved for a home. Them are the three credit bureaus that they look at. And they also look at your FICO score. The FICO score is the one they look at to determine if you can get approved for a house. Now, I think is I advise you this year to monitor your credit. Not through Credit Karma, because Credit Karma is not accurate, but Credit Card does alert you daily with um, TransUnion and Equifax, it doesn't have Experion. It notifies you daily on if you have new activity, as in new collections come up, or if you overcharge on your credit cards. It let, it's good at that aspect, but it's not good in the actual raw number. Those numbers are usually off quite a bit. Um, I advise you to subscribe to Experion um, it's like, I believe $24 a month, don't uh, quote me if I'm wrong, like $24 a month and monitor your credit every single month. That will give you a, get you in a good habit of know, knowing where your credit score is monthly, what you got going on, letting you also know that your uh, credit utilization is below 30% and not over. Because once it goes over, that impacts your credit score and it also affects you on purchasing a home and also the debt that coincides with your whatever credit cards you're using. The higher that you, the more money that you put on your credit card, the more your um, your minimal payment is that it may um, disqualify you from getting a certain parts point of that home. So the lender may tell you to pay off that card or pay down that card so you can qualify for a certain amount of home um, that you're comfortable with paying monthly. Now, why is it important to pick a good lender? Um, most good lenders will analyze your credit score, your credit, and analyze your income and determine where your credit score is and your income of the purchase power of you buying a home. That's what good lenders do. And also, most lenders have a credit assimilation. What that means is they'll look at your credit score and determine what you need to pay off or delete to get your score where it needs to be to purchase a home. That's why I think that's always a good key to find a lender or find a realtor and they'll direct you to a lender so we can actually figure out and make a game plan from their analysis on how to get you approved for a home for 2022. You know, them are the main keys. Don't go into anything blindly like myself. I don't like to move forward unless I send you to a lender and the lender talks to me and lets me know what steps do we need to take to get you to the closing table, to get you to the uh, closing table so you can get your keys. That's the number one step is talking to him to let him analyze it. I know a lot of people want to go to credit repair companies, which is fine, but credit repair company, they're not a lender. A lender can actually look at your credit and analyze it and tell you exactly what you need to take off or, or delete. Um, there's nothing wrong with you then using uh, credit repair companies, but the problem that I have seen lately during this pandemic, they delete stuff that comes back to haunt you. You think that that is off, and when you get close to that closing closing time, a collection comes right back and drop your score 50 to 100 points. And you know what? That's detrimental. 
that means you're not gonna be able to close on that house sometimes so that's why i think it's very important to talk to a lender and let the a lender the lender will advise you to use a credit repair com uh, company to work on your credit um, that's what i advise you guys for 2022 and like i said before this year i'm all about educating you more on getting into the home you want price um interest rates is rising home prices is rising here in central florida so it's not like it used to be two years ago so you need to get a realtor that's savvy that understands the market and a lender that understands the market so we can sit down with you and tell you exactly what you can be approved for and you tell us what are you comfortable with paying monthly that's the number one key people get confused that you're you know people get confused that that pre-approval you approve for five hundred thousand dollars that you're happy that $500,000 comes with a monthly payment. Are you comfortable with that monthly payment? Because nobody want to be house poor. You have to be comfortable with that monthly payment. Once you figure that out, sometimes that pre-approval don't mean anything. You may be approved for $500,000, but you only want to pay $300,000 worth of house. You have to think about that. That's why you have to get a realtor and a lender that understands that and just don't put you out in the situation. Don't put you out blindly thinking that five hundred thousand dollars is good. But at the end of the day, when he gives you that that amount, that's um, that amount that's monthly on that house, you're gonna think twice and be like, no, I can't afford that. I don't want to pay that monthly because it's gonna make me house poor. I'm not gonna be able to do the things I want to do with my family. So always thinking about that when you're thinking about choosing a realtor. So you know that's all I really want to say today. Um, this is something this is something different, new setup. I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna keep on coming more with educational content on, for you to purchase a home in 2022. So this is your boy Mr. Right Choice with Combs Premier, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video as me educating you. Peace.